War Diary, day 533 of Russia's war against Ukraine. I asked my old pal Vlad Demchenko, he's the Ukrainian soldier who arrested me on day two for being a Russian spy. How's it going? And he says it's bad. Separately, I've spoken to another chap who delivers Western aid uh, to the Ukrainian army and he also said things were bad. The reason they're bad is the Russian army has adapted. Um, it's using a lot of drones, it's using a lot of night sights. Vlad said one day his team, they've got three drones at any one time, and they raided a Russian trench and they found 26 boxes of Chinese made drones. So there's a serious problem in that. China is shipping an awful lot of stuff to Russia and the Russian army is adapting and the Ukrainians are losing a lot of people. The problem is for what? For not much gain. Not much gain at all. So this is very, very difficult and it gets worse because the West are not sending enough stuff and what they're promising they are not delivering. So um, there's some statistics out that Germany, for example, has promised um, a lot of anti-artillery stuff, stuff like this, and, it, and it's only sent half of what it's promised. So my Ukrainian friends are losing a lot of people. They are shedding a lot of blood for very little progress, while people in the comfortable West are divering. Pull your finger out, all of us, all of us, because otherwise Russia will prevail. And if they win in Ukraine, or they even get half a victory, then they come for us. I have a simple message to Vladimir Putin and it goes like this, Vladimir Putin, do fuck off.